Today's adventure brings us to Branson, Missouri. If you turn here, you will make your way towards the Celebrity Car Museum, which just so happens to be where I'm going. The first thing I notice is this huge monster truck and Jurassic Park vehicle. Not in the proper parking space, but up on the grass. They would have got away with it too. If it wasn't for these pesky kids. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Now I do not know what to expect once I head down that small road and into those doors, but I'm excited. I've heard good things about this place. Join me, shall you? But before heading inside, there are a few items outdoors to take a peek at, including this camper van in the middle that was once owned by Frank Sinatra. The Rob Zombie film 31 utilized this on more than one occasion throughout the movie. Circus theme just above the bumper says the show must go on. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, enough of that. I'm going in. I always thought it was the coolest thing, Kit, Knight Rider, and how the light just kind of swirled across the front of the hood. Even have the lights on the dash turned on to give it the proper ambiance. Got the two main stars from Miami Vice just chilling outside there. Daytona Spider. The theming of this mural starts on the painting and continues down to the ground itself, over the wall, and through the entire museum. Oh yes, the Wraith 2 car created in hopes of a sequel happening, which of course never did. Even though there were quite a few of these used in Herbie Fully Loaded, this one had a hydraulic ram added to the back for stunt work and an extra fifth wheel which allowed it to ride up on its side. Below the barn is a modified golf cart, a cat in the hat, Dr. Seuss inspired ride. Jane Wyman drove this in the 1981 TV show Falcon Crest. She liked it so much, they let her keep it. She drove it to and from the set each and every day. There it is, pictured in one of the episodes, right there. Seen in Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas. And speaking of rock, I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. This area seems incredibly dangerous. That T-Rex has destroyed the front hood of that. It's a good thing there is a protective barricade there. Yeah, I feel safe. Although it might look like a motorcycle, it is not. It has been modified with two back wheels. And in 1974, you could have seen the king of rock and roll sitting right there. He owned this. You don't see too many of these. A 1971 Grey Ghost bicycle. Very rare, that's why it's behind glass. If you're into Fast and Furious, these might strike your fancy. Sammy Hagar would probably enjoy these because you know, he can't drive 55. This is pretty cool. A whole heck of a lot of Knight Rider paraphernalia on all three of these shelves, some collector items. Even though there were a heck of a lot of General Lees used in the TV series, the Johnny Knoxville remake movie utilized this particular one. The hearse from Terminator 3, Arnold sat behind the wheel of this thing. That's right, come on. Oh wow, this is awesome. It's Tattoo's golf cart from Fantasy Island. So cool. Mike's car from Breaking Bad shot through the side window, which eventually led to his demise. I'll give you one guess to figure out who drove this. Give up? It's stated right there on that sign. This looks really neat with the flashing lights of the police vehicle behind me, shining against the wall and the painting. And is that the bat cave over there? Yeah, I do believe it is. I'm thinking wow, but saying pow, you know, for emphasis. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. It's okay, NYPD, Spider-Man's on the case. Another Elvis-related item, a close personal friend of his owned this boat, and he rode in it many times. Check out the name, Hound Dog. Nice. Whoa, got some Transformers up in here. This amazing creation from the 75 cult film, Death Race 2000. And while it doesn't state it here, I think it was one of Sylvester Stallone's first films. Some RoboCop stuff there on display as well. Really enjoying the theming in here thus far. Police cruiser used in the Dark Knight Rises. Why is he standing up there? Come on, get out. From Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And there are a couple signatures on the dashboard. 
looks as if they left their mark for posterity. Hannah Montana, the movie, Miley and her father both starred in that one, as well as this truck. 1960 Cadillac limousine carried Jackie, Robert, and JFK Jr. to the president's funeral. Deeds, not words, the slogan of Megaforce. I want to drive that. It's not uncommon to see DeLorean time machine replicas like this one, but it is rare to see the police vehicle from part two screen used. Oh heck yeah. It is also pretty neat that they have at the top of this light pole attached this wire, theming done correctly as it stretches across directly towards the top of the clock tower. So when the lightning strikes, it can go from point A to point B and do the job correctly. Donald Trump has hopped in the Who car and taken it for a spin. Oh man, the A-Team van driven by the one and only B.A. Baracus. Love that show. For promotional use in 2014, that's the pizza thrower. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style. Made from scrap parts, this bumblebee stands an incredible eight feet, five inches tall. In the gift shop, above the snack and soda machines, is an Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. And a hoverboard still in the box. If I were to purchase one of these, I'd probably choose the Mr. T there on the far right. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future endeavors, adventures I will be going on, as well as uploads on this channel. And if you're ever in Branson, in this neck of the woods, stop into the Velvet Collection celebrity car museum and attraction pretty fantastic place not everything is screen used but they will let you know based on the different signage in front of the vehicles which is and isn't altogether i give this place a thumbs up and if you enjoyed this video do the same hey that vehicle what's going oh. on I got, a little, I got a little too close. I apologize. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.